it's so easy nowadays to actually learn every single thing that you need online the problem is that a lot of us don't even know what we're supposed to be learning what is it that can i actually learn that is going to help me make money that is going to help me you know actually start a business of my own so i'm going to be sharing with you five high income skills that you can actually learn in 2024 so that you can actually start a business of your own doing whatever it is that you would have learned online for free and let's jump straight into it. The first skill that I want to talk to you about is marketing. Firstly, what is marketing? Any activity that a company undertakes in, in order to promote the buying or selling of a product or a service. In terms of how you can actually learn marketing online, you can learn it on YouTube. I will show you some examples of channels that you can actually follow so you can learn about marketing. I really hope that you actually make use of these of this information that I'm sharing with you because it's going to be very, very important and it's going to be very helpful in you basically changing your life at this point. Another thing is you can actually go and search for free online courses. These are some examples of online courses that you can actually take to learn about marketing. Now, in terms of how to actually make money from marketing, I'm going to be sharing with you some suggestions. Number one is becoming a marketing coach or consultant now i was actually offering some marketing coaching services before um and i feel like there is a market for that there are many business owners who do not know how to market their businesses guys and i tell you this so many people do not know how to market their businesses and that's something that you can actually capitalize on make sure that you actually do your research that you learn and that you actually create a social media account so that you can actually be building your own audience this way you have first hand experience when it comes to actually building an audience and doing whatever it is that you're going to be promising your client number two you can actually start a marketing agency now with the marketing agency you would not necessarily be working alone if you don't want to you can actually get other people who are going to be working with you so for example if you get a client who wants i don't know seo and then you can actually get um, a freelancer who does seo to actually do it for them and it's going to be under your name that's something that you can actually do it's almost like job servicing to an extent but it's up to you how you actually then go about it with your marketing agency you can decide what services you want to offer now the number one thing that i always tell people is that start off with one like i don't have a problem with you expanding at some at some point but when you're starting off if you have far too many services you will not know how to market all those services to your client and a lot of the times depending on what service you have it will now change your target audience you now have so many people that you're trying to cater for and that makes it so hard for you to explain who you are what you're doing why your business exists why people should choose you over someone else it's much harder. So start out with just one, whether you choose to offer social media management services, whether you choose to do SEO, you choose to do email marketing, that's up to you. But start out with one, just a suggestion. Number three, you can actually create and sell digital products. Now, in terms of the products that you can actually sell, it has to in some way make use of the knowledge that you have. So the way that you're going to be creating a workbook that is a step-by-step -step guide as to how someone can grow their account on TikTok to 1,000 followers, or it's going to be an ebook on how to start marketing a gift box business whatever it is that you're going to be offering to people just make sure that if you choose to start selling digital products it is something that is useful to people people are not willing to spend money on things that they do not see any value in you need to make sure that this is actually valuable this is something that people actually want and especially for people who are thinking of starting a digital product business i suggest that you grow your audience online teaching them about marketing that way you can actually get straight feedback from them to figure out what it is that they're actually interested in with me i'm currently working on an ebook right now that is about different business ideas and the reason why i'm focusing on business ideas is because i kept on seeing that the videos that were blowing up the videos that people were interested in were the videos about business ideas which means they are people who are interested in businesses they're just trying to figure out which business to start so if i create an ebook that's about different business ideas and so on it's actually going to be valuable to them but the way that i realized this was by creating content by was by actually putting myself out there and growing my own audience so i'll suggest that you actually do the same 
the second skill that you can actually learn is copywriting now what is copywriting it's going to be on the screen you need to understand with copywriting it is always going to be practice makes perfect the more you practice the more you actually get better at copywriting this means you need to actually set up projects for uh projects for yourself which are going to allow you to actually learn how to do copywriting the reason why i know just a little bit about copywriting because it was because um at some point i was actually interested in copywriting so i was you know teaching myself and so on until i realized i didn't have enough interest in it to actually go that far but what i'm saying is you can learn how to go about it i'll share with you some channels that you can actually learn from and some online courses that you can do but it's always going to be about practice you need to practice as much as possible you need to set up projects for yourself you need to something like a big big thing that i'll suggest that you actually do is to start a blog i feel like that's the best way to actually go about it um a blog is going to help you with figuring out how to write and you get to practice every week when you are posting a new blog post so that's one of the best ways that you can actually go about it but that's just my suggestion because also it depends on what exactly you want to be offering to people so now let's talk about how to actually make money as a copywriter number one you can become a freelance copywriter this means that you're going to be working with businesses um you know creating copyrights maybe for their sales pages or so on it is you know up to you what services exactly you want to offer with the skill that you have now learned and when it comes to freelancing as always i would not suggest that you go on upwork and fiverr i think it's good to start out with but you need to have built your own brand so that you're not dependent on a platform in order to actually get clients build your own brand have your own website that's going to actually then intake clients so that you're never dependent on a platform you're never dependent on you know how well you might do it's always going to be up to you if you're creating content um consistently you're putting in the work and so on you can then get clients if you are fixing up the way that you're speaking to people the way that you know the people that you are targeting you're going to get clients so it's a, a lot better or maybe it's just part of me is very controlling so i want to have you know i want to know that i'm the one who's making this you know go forward so that's why i would suggest that you just build your own brand on social media instead of you know being on fiverr and upwork and you know there's just a lot of people on there okay so if that's something that you want to do when you're starting out there's no problem because you're trying to like you know build your portfolio and get more people to know you no problem but forever uh, I'll suggest that you just, you know, build your own brand so it's easier for you. Number two is email marketing. That's another service that you can actually offer. Number three is copywriting courses and coaching there you're going to be actually teaching people who are aspiring copywriters so you're teaching people who want to be where you are how to get there they are at point a where they do not know what's going on they don't know anything about copywriting and you're going to be helping them get to their point b where they can now become a copywriter they can actually make money in their own business how exactly basically your structure or rather your process for how you got to where you are number four is product launches and sales funnels that's a service that you can offer to business owners and it is up to you how you then go about it but these are just some uh you know some examples of what you could offer to people and make money from skill number three that i'll suggest that you actually learn is sales sales is something that will never go away okay definition is going to be on the screen but sales is not going away anytime soon because literally every single thing that you do is you selling something it is you trying to get someone to buy into something even if it's just buying into your ideologies you're not necessarily selling a product or a service but you're selling how you think or what uh you believe in and you're trying to get people to buy into that that is still selling so i feel like sales is like one thing that you can actually make a lot of money from but it's just kind of up to you how you actually go about it in terms of how to actually make money from it uh number one you can be a sales representative for a company but you do this freelance as you know you'd be working on your own you don't work for the company specifically they're just one of the companies that you are working with number two you can offer sales training and coaching this is something that i suggest that you actually do once you have enough knowledge on this um where they're going to be teaching you know employees of a company or you're going to be teaching small business owners how to do it themselves that's number three you can start a sales agency where you're actually going to be the one in charge of you know helping businesses get clients 
clients and so on in terms of where you can actually learn all these skills i will show you channels and courses that you can actually take in order to learn about this skill number four that i want to talk to you about is public speaking public speaking is actually very important if you're someone who genuinely enjoys speaking in front of an audience that is something that you can actually do now with this one i feel like it's not as complicated you want to learn how to do that i'll show you some channels that you can actually learn from but in terms of then how to actually make money that's something that i want us to actually discuss number one is to become a keynote speaker please understand something if you decide to be a speaker you need to have something that you are talking about. I'm currently learning about marketing, about business and so on because I do at some point want to be a speaker. But in order for me to speak, I need to know what I am talking about. And that's why I'm building my knowledge on like marketing and business and so on so that I can know what to speak about. So it's going to be up to you what it is that you actually want to talk about. You need to have some type of story. You need to have something that you are working towards or that you have accomplished that that people would be interested in things that people actually want to do or things that people would find interest in that inspires people that motivates people that educates people it's up to you how you go about it but find a topic find something that you actually want to talk about in terms of then like actually finding clients for this something i'll suggest that you do is you can start actually speaking for free so find events that you where you can actually speak for free that will give you the exposure that you need obviously you need to be on youtube like that's one thing that i will always say for anyone that wants to be a speaker that wants to be a public speaker being on youtube is one of the best things get used to speaking to people get used to offering some type of value to people because that is so important but two you can actually offer trainings and workshops like i said you would have chosen whatever it is that you want to teach people and that's what you actually work Work on number three you can actually offer online courses and webinars whether this is going to be you targeting other people that want to be public speakers you are targeting people that want to be where you are right now that wants to build a per, uh a uh, public speaking business you can actually do that those are some services that you can actually offer not services are they services those are some things that you can actually do so make sure that you figure out what exactly you want to talk about our skill that i have for you is graphic design as for the definition of graphic design it's on the screen our graphic design a pro tip that i'm going to give to you outside of every other tip that you will get this is something that's coming from an amateur please understand i'll suggest that you actually start out with canva like figuring out how to do things on canva is one of the best ways because you can actually sell templates you can sell uh ebook templates or whatever like different templates and workbook templates and whatnot you can actually sell them on canva itself when you figure out how to do how to actually do all these things in terms of where you can actually learn this you will see it on the screen i will give you some channel examples and some online courses that you can actually sign up for now let's talk about how to actually make money from this one you can actually become a freelance graphic designer number two designing and selling uh digital products so this could be web designs this could be you know graphic design related things that i will show you on the screen because i can't think of anything right now but those are some things that you can actually offer to people number three you can actually offer graphic design courses and webinars to people that want to be a graphic designer or to people that want to learn about graphic design so for example maybe um a business owner wants to learn how to do graphic design for their own business then you can actually teach them now, i hope you enjoyed this video before we go on and you move on to the next video that you need to watch i want you to actually let me know in the comments which of these business ideas that i've shared with you you're actually interested in and which skill you genuinely feel like is the best that you can actually learn but do make sure that you like and you subscribe i have so many more videos for you um in terms of like product businesses if that's something that you're thinking of doing as well i have many videos that can actually help you get started with that but please make sure that you actually check out my channel i have a number of videos that can help you and the next one that i want to suggest to you is a video on how to start an online business please make sure that you actually go and you check it out it will be very helpful as much as what you are starting is not a product business it's actually going to be helpful because the steps that you take are kind of work whether you have a service or a product business other than like you're not needing suppliers because like you are your own supplier here but I really hope that you actually got something from this video and that you will actually implement on things that I have told you. Okay, because I see a lot of people that watch all these business ideas and stuff like that type of content. But when it comes to actually putting in the work to getting started, 
that is one of the hardest things that we need to work with okay you don't start the business you haven't started it for all this time you've been consuming all this content it's not getting you anywhere you need to actually get started with all these things you need to get started with at least one business i'm not saying that the first business that you're starting is going to be perfect i mean my first business was a jewelry business you can see that my business is not a jewelry business anymore that tells you a lot all i'm saying is Give yourself a chance to actually get started. You will change, you will pivot, you will decide on different things at a later stage. But you need to get started in order to at least then change direction or get closer to where you actually want to get to. So make sure that you actually go and watch that video. I will see you there.